Tom Thumb is an enduring character of folklore, but his name is often shorthand for anything that's tiny, including this teacup-sized butterhead lettuce. In 1621, Richard Johnson wrote the first known Tom Thumb book in English. For such a petite protagonist, it had a whale of a title, The History of Tom Thumb the Little, for his small stature surnamed King Arthur's Dwarf, whose life and adventures contain many strange and wonderful accidents published for the Merry Time Spenders. The plot variations seemed limitless, from the magical powers granted to Tom by his godmother, the Fairy Queen, to his narrow and daring escapes from giants' castles and cows' stomachs. And the stories were aimed at grown-ups. In the 18th century, writer Henry Fielding turned Tom Thumb into a ladies' man and a swashbuckling giant slayer. Fielding's play, with its satirical take on contemporary politics and culture, ran for 40 straight nights at a London theater. But by the Victorian era of the 19th century, the adventures of the merry little trickster Tom had been largely sanitized for young audiences and often included a bit of moralizing to boot. Around that same time, another Tom Thumb took the stage, Charles Sherwood Stratton, an invention of circus impresario P.T. Barnum. General Tom Thumb, as the boy was known, became a bona fide international celebrity after Barnum taught him to sing, dance, and do impersonations. Stratton was an entertainer, not just a human curiosity. His wedding to Lavinia Warren in 1863 landed the couple on the cover of Harper's Weekly. Stratton died of a stroke in 1883 when he was just 45 years old. By then, this black seeded British variety had been on the market for 25 years. It was introduced in 1858 by H. Wheeler and Sons, but plant historian William Moyes Weaver notes that another English seedsman, William Thompson, was growing a similar French variety as many as 10 years before that. This French variety, which seed house Villemorin called Lechu à l'Antmonte, or Tom Pousse, the French word for thumb, was larger, deeper green, and more savoyed than the English Tom Thumb lettuce. J. H. Gregory offered Tom Thumb lettuce to American gardeners in 1868, but it never really caught on. Weaver describes the dwarf lettuce as having dark, green, heavily crumpled leaves. It grows well in greenhouses, providing lettuce year-round, and the three to four inch heads are a real space saver. Just as there are many names for Tom Thumb characters around the world, Ishun Boshi in Japan, Patoufette in Catalonia, and the Petit Pousse in France, this diminutive lettuce had many aliases as well. It was also marketed in the U.S. as Landreth's Forcing, Holmes's Forcing, and Early Greenstone. Try this elfin variety in your garden or greenhouse. Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.